Recording. Alright, there we go. Uh, James vs. Dr. Sex. Close the door so we get less echo. And it is simply uh, Ness vs. Uh, Rob. Um, so a lot of both very much owner characters, both trying to keep each other out. We will see how this will end up working out. Uh, I just realized there was a, there seems to be a slight smudge on uh, the webcam that's out for it then. Anyway, um, so going to Green Hill, um, and right away popping the top, just trying to get something out in between the two, it would seem, but, um, yeah, so, oh, that is just sad for, um, Dr. Sex, just, um, Cause yeah, um, James is gonna force um, Dr. Sex to uh, uh, approach every single time. There's no way that he will, um, uh, he'll only just bait out something and then go in generally. Um, just wait until you, and just throw tops or throw other things uh, at you until you finally decide to go in. Um, so yeah, he's just gonna wait and pretty much wait and punish. As soon as you do some bad move, he will go in instantly with upbeat. And by the looks of this, his plan is just pretty much to drop um, a top on Dr. Sex once he gets off stage and just hope that the top uh, takes out the Thunderball from Pity Thunder, um, using Farron Nares to get them off stage so that the, um, the top, so he can actually get into the right position for that. Um, So just right now Isaac is on the side of fifty percent. Damn. Um just every single thing that he's done, he's gotten pretty much punished for it. Um He has yet to get a single grab, which is what a lot of his uh startups are for. Um but granted, neither of these players, neither of these people are really on the ground too much. As soon as something happens, they are immediately jumping on to the next move. Um Yeah. And doing the two bands, uh, which uh, uh, the uh, fod makes sense because moving platforms and all that stuff, which is um, and the fact that Rob does not like being close in, and Ness does, or in this matchup Ness does more so. Um, so going to a small stage like this does make sense. Um, and he's actually getting grabs and starting his setups. Um, but even if he gets more percent, yeah. Hasn't really been able to hit a good kill move or anything like that, even. Um, even when James uh, jumps is at a low, uh, lower percent. So we will. Oh, I'm just checking to see what actually around this is, because that would slightly help me for some things. Oh, stop it. Is still losing, it's a lot closer than what it was. Um, I did not see exactly what happened because I was checking something. Um, yeah, it seems like he's actually able to get in and actually hit some percent this time. Um, and not just getting punished. It, that was actually a very nice drop from ledge, uh, drop from platform uh, there, just because it's, it's able to get out and be a little bit disjointed enough that he can uh, do it safely without getting punished by uh, Jams's. Um, 
aerial side B to any, any aerial. Um, oh. I was not expecting Jax to die there. I, was, I thought he still had a, uh, quite a few booster shots left. Um, but apparently not. And now, yeah, using the top to stop you from uh, being able to get up normally and then just... Uh, doing something for the ledge pretty much covers most of your options when you're that low. Um, unless you have some way to get rid of the top. Um, but that requires a uh, certain setup, like going up higher than normal. So not always the best idea. Um, well, Isaac's able to box James out and keep him off to the side. Um, but now Isaac's... Uh, Jan, uh, Dr. Sykes is in a slightly worse position. Grabbing the top while he air dodged is sadly doing it a slightly too high so he doesn't end up doing a wave dash, but instead slides slightly above. And he's just dying for it. is best of five. Um, the players thought it was best of uh, one of them. Players thought it was best of three. Um, all good. I uh, figured it out. Switching off to Marth just so he can get better disjoints in, so that he can try and stay safer while uh, hitting anything in, inside the thing, hitting anywhere close to gems, so that gems has to cover slightly more ground before he's able to throw an attack. Um, I personally don't like this choice just because um, side B covers so much range anyway that he'll still end up right above Marth, as just as he would have popped up right in front of um, Ness. So there's really not much of an advantage, I don't think, for this swap, and generally speaking, Dr. Sexton's less experienced on Marth than he is on Ness, so it will just end up, um, so we'll probably just end up being not nearly as good, um, and, oh, and Marth is also a lot more predictable in his recovery, because he only has one way his up B can go, and he can't do it in different directions or anything like that. So you just drop the top at the, at the right spot. And it will hit Marth pretty much every time. I just hope Dark Sex is able to get one hit, um, one stock at least and be able to take him out. Yeah. 